short view of the immorality and profaneness of the english stage by jeremy collier hello and welcome to the discourse jeremy collier was an english non-jura bishop and theologian who chose to be a strong english theater critic during the restoration period he was born on 23rd september 1950 and he experienced the days of the protectorate when all theaters and other forms of entertainment were literally banned a substantial part of the english citizenry always disapproved of english drama they opposed the increasing profanities and immorality being depicted in the theaters during the times of ben johnson thomas middleton john fletcher and others king charles ii was restored in 1660 and soon the stages of english drama began sparkling again however the opposition of two theaters persisted In 1698, Jeremy Collier published a pamphlet titled "Short View of the Immorality and Profaneness of the English Stage." Collier accused the English playwrights and theatre houses of debauching the English citizenry. His main targets, whom he directly opposed, were William Wycherley, John Dryden, William Congreve, John Vanbrugh, and Thomas Duffery. In place of targeting stage art historically, Collier attacked the recent and popular dramas of his time. In his essay, he offered numerous pieces of evidences suggesting how the dramas are affecting the populace and how stage poets use these dramas to profess support for immorality and profanities. He specifically targeted restoration comedies and mentioned that all of the restoration comedies lack poetic justice. Vulgar comedies and tragedies depicting clergymen in villainous roles had been a pattern during the Jacobian age too. However, poetic justice was maintained before the Puritans took hold of the crown. However, after the restoration, when the theaters were reopened, Collier complained that the new dramatists forbade the idea of poetic justice. Poetic justice is the idea that logic always triumphs and logic suggests that ultimately virtue should be rewarded and vices should be punished. Poetic justice was recently termed coined by English dramatist Thomas Rymer. However, the need for poetic justice has been consistent in classical authorities including Aristotle, Horace, Plutarch and Quintilian. Even William Shakespeare floundered on the lines of poetic justice while Ben Jonson tried to maintain unity and poetic justice in his place. During the restoration period, flouted poetic justice was by rewarding libertines and punishing dull-witted moralists because it became a trend. This could have been because during the Civil War, Puritans banned the theaters and after the restoration, this faction got a chance to lampoon the clergyman. Jeremy Collier strictly opposed and attacked this behavior. He maintained that the only reason for which fiction can be allowed in a civil society is that of poetic justice. According to him, dramas should be a means to spread goodness among the people. Dramas should depict how vices are punished and virtues ultimately win. The playwrights of the restoration period, on the other hand, were ignoring poetic justice in favor of cheap thrills. Collier condemns the characters of restoration comedies as impious and wicked and he condemned the playwrights for failing to punish the playwrights wicked favorites. While his accusations were mild, they were comprehensive and he openly blamed William Wycherley, John Dryden, William Congreve, John Vanbrugh and Thomas Duffery along with other playwrights for immorality, profanities and blasphemy. As a response John Dennis published his pamphlet titled The Usefulness of Stage. John Dennis was another contemporary critic of Collier who maintained that dramas are useful for society. John Vanbrugh wrote his own retaliation and published it under the title A Short Vindication of the Relapse and the Provoked Wife from Immorality and Profaneness in 1698. Wenberg claimed that Collier is a clergyman and he is more upset by the unflattering depictions of clergymen than actual blasphemy. William Comgreve vehemently opposed Collier's accusation in his essay and amendments of Mr. Collier's false and imperfect citations published in 1698. 
Thomas Duffery preferred answering Collier in his upcoming play Campaigners, which was first performed in 1698, in which he lampooned Collier. Collier relaunched his attack on these playwrights in his next pamphlet titled Defense of the Short View, which was published in 1699. The comedies of the Restoration period were clearly sexually explicit, and Collier's pamphlet did t- trigger a change of pattern. Furthermore, while the playwrights enjoyed free runs during the reigns of Charles II and then James II, William III and Mary II were not so supportive of English drama. So, this is it for today. We will continue to discuss the history of English literature. Please stay connected with the discourse. Thanks and regards.